and his spine was broken, his ribs were broken, everything was broken. Kolani Kumalo, presenter of the popular drug-busting reality show Sizoktola, appeared at the Palm Ridge Magistrates Court where he faces one count of murder. It is alleged that on the 19th of July, Kumalo and his TV crew beat to death Robert Vary during an unreleased taping of the show. The matter has been adjourned to the 21st of November, pending the DPP's decision on whether it should be transferred to a high court for trial. Over 200 people showed up to court to support Kumalo, while the family of Robert Vary was also there. The family says Robert Vary was a 49-year-old man who was the father of eight children. Robert was my brother. Um, I love my brother a lot. Um, and, my and brother did not deserve to die the way that he died because God has the last say, had the last say over his life, not Kolade and his crew. And we want justice for this to prevail. Was Robert in any way involved in any sort of drugs? Yes, he did sell drugs, but they didn't find, they only find two bags of drugs. He did sell drugs. Yes, he did. <laughs> Meanwhile, Kumalo received a hero's welcome as he left the courts. Kumalo's supporters believe he is being targeted. Say that because whatever they said, I, I believe it's lies. They are trying to frame him so he can stop what he's doing. Because no, he's fighting against what's happening. And I'm also fighting against those Nigerians because they are coming in our world and making money and going back. In their world, nobody's smoking drugs. That's what I know. But here, they're killing our youth. Kumalo says law enforcement agencies are not taking seriously the issue of drugs in the Gatlehong community. This is a critical matter. It's a terrorist attack. Our future is dying. Mm. Our yes. children are dying. Yes. Our mothers and sisters, they can't leave their things at home because someone is high. Yes. Can this, can this thing be treated like sexual offences? Yes. Can it be treated exactly like sexual offences? Yes. If you are arrested for drug dealing, you shouldn't get paid. Yes. 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 Because now, an angry community, it's an ungovernable community. Yes. So we are here to cry. Yes.